moves, the healthy moves trainers do for you when they come out with her tumbling and dancing and track. Um, because, um... Did you like the tumbling? Yeah. You like the cartwheels? Mm -hmm. You like the somersaults? Yeah. What did you like about the tumbling? I liked, like, they have, like, moves in them. They're, like, they make you have more exercise in your heart, and they, like, make you move faster and stuff. And do you think exercise, like you're talking about exercise, makes your heart and your, you move faster? Is that and good your, for... And, and your muscles. And your muscles. Like, you think that's good for your life, for longevity, mm -hmm. for as you get yeah. older? Yeah. Yeah. That's how I learned how to do push-ups really fast. Okay. Cool. Push so you like PE, and you would like to have more PE. Yes, I did. It was really fun. I I mostly liked the tumbling because at first I really didn't know how, and then my teacher, all the teachers came and taught me. Now I'm really good, and I'm way more flexible. Yes. Um, yeah, that helped me with especially dance class because I didn't really know like how to dance because I was super nervous. So yeah. it me. Well, I liked the tumbling because the teachers also took their time when they could be going to different schools and doing different things. Yeah. And how do you see PE helping you as you get older? I think PE helps me getting older is because, like, if there's something exercising, like if you need to get through, like, a class that includes exercising and PE, you already learned it, so it's, like, easier. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, like, as you get older, you still know how to do PE. And so you can go to like a... What PE is gonna, what I think PE is gonna help me do is I want to run for the UFO track team, so I think it's gonna help me. That's tremendous. Later on. Later on. Great. It'll help. I like doing something different for PE. Uh, terrific. Rather than doing the same. Yeah. What I really enjoyed about them is they're teaching you different types of physical activity than just, they're teaching you different than just doing normal warm ups and they're teaching you different than playing games during your thing because you're not, not all PE classes are games and they're not supposed to be. They're supposed to be you learning about what type of physical activities you're going to do. So we could call those skills, learning skills. Do you, have you, or have you experienced how PE can help you for the rest of your life? Yes, because if you don't, when you're younger, you don't have that experience of just running. Uh, it could, when you're older, you wouldn't have like the teaching that you should be active every day. So you might become obese because you're not active. Yeah. What, how do you see PE helping you when you're, um, when you're for, for future in your life? Um, well, my job that I, the job that I want to have when I grow up is a missionary, so I assume I'll probably be walking and running around a lot. Okay. So I should stay in good shape. You should stay in good shape. I feel like it's going to help me by, not keep, by keeping me outdoors and not making me a hermit. It's also going to help me a lot by just keeping me active and not keeping me slow. And when it does come to running, then I'll actually be able to do it good and not be and not fall behind everybody else when it comes to something later in life. And if you have the Hi, I'm Denise Thomas Morrill, part-time PE teacher out at Lundy Elementary School in Lowell, Oregon. I am also the executive director of Healthy Moves, a nonprofit that hires trainers to go into elementary schools and work with classroom teachers in their PE classes. 
Lundy is the only school in the Lane County that I know of that is achieving the increase of PE instruction from 60 minutes to 150 minutes. A new fitness center would be a great asset in the district's goal for students to develop a healthy lifestyle for the future.